Hello guys, welcome to Nanjaja's Five Man. So guys, Davido and his crew members, even Israel DMW, are now presently in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, we're here. We're outside. Yeah. The damn Fox. baby, the damn baby. <laughs> so guys, it's the season of concert, concert, concert. Davido just finished one of his concerts in Atlanta and they are headed to, actually they are presently in Amsterdam for Davido's upcoming invasion. Guys, this is what we should look out for. And guys, um, I love the way David Davido is traveling back to back with Israel DMW now, which wasn't happening before. So David came out this evening telling us that he's going out for an interview again, representing Nigeria fully. Yes, sir. sold out. So, so. so. Israel and his funny ways of doing things. What a funny guy. And David even released uh, <laughs> a video of um, Israel being funny in the so. um, while they were. Yes. <laughs> so, most of us are in this kind of position that israel is most people has not used this type of um <laughs> what what is israel doing here guys oh. guys what is israel doing anyway guys we have um david and one of his crew member i believe they are on their way to um an interview yes where he said he'll be representing Nigerians fully. So guys, David posted this few minutes ago saying, I did go do interview now, fully representing Nigeria. Say, make I, she make I puku put. Make I put, put on for head. Actually, he is wearing green, white, green on his head, guys. Like David is on another level that so guys, David is in the fitting room having um, little chit chats. The interview he said he's going to grant. I believe this is it. And one question, guys. Why is it that David doesn't usually grant interviews in Nigeria? Just my honest, um, just my observation. He doesn't really grant in more interview in Nigeria just the way he grant does outside the country. So guys, let's take a look at the cap that David is wearing. Look at it. It's the color of the Nigerian flag, guys. It is. It's the color of the Nigerian flag. Most people were of the opinion that he should own his truth. Whatever I said, let it just be. The way he so yes, after that, I believe I bet he headed to another um, direction or another place for this interview. According to David, guys, he never feel on top. Learning never stops, guys. That is what me too I believe in. And David believe in in such an ideology. Learning never stops. No matter how high you are, you keep learning every day. And that is the kind of a person that David is. He says he never stops learning from even people that he has money, way money than. So guys, he is, he's here talking about um, his cousin and also Mayo Kun, how he saw Mayo Kun produce music, bring music to life, life right from the scratch. He has seen talented artists do things incredibly well. Guys, most people are calling out David to come and apologize for what he has said. What are your takes in this, guys? What do you suggest? To me, guys, David is a sweet soul that never ceases to relate with his people. Giving out to the society, mingling with um, people that he has way money than. And also, understanding the plight of the citizen is wanting. So, guys, what do you think? Should David come out and apologize or he should just own up to his truth? 
the only person that I feel that can make David to apologize maybe is his dad. Maybe because of their power plants, their business in Nigeria, the dad might maybe reason with him to come out and apologize to the masses. That is what I think. So guys, give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment your thoughts about this whole bro. Ha ha. Um, make sure you share, like, comment, and see you in our next one. Thank you for stopping by.